Hello everyone, David from goldstartool.com and today uh, um, it's going to be a comparison day between Juki to the right and console to the left. Both of them are really, really good machines. Um, double needle walking foot machine. Uh, I have done a video on Juki LU1560 walking foot and I have done a video on the console uh, 339RB-4 but we're going to do a comparison now we're going to see what is the difference as you know these are two needles sewing machine very the 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 really um extra heavy duty industrial walking foot walking foot machine that anybody for jumpers and all the heavy stuff that you need walking foot these are the machine anything between 69 thread all the way to 207 uh, 135 by 17 needle, extra large bobbins on both machines. Uh, so it's not a side one, both two top uh, loaded bobbins, no bobbin case, no caps. Um, very popular, very popular sewing machine, 15, 16, even now it's really hard to keep them in stock. Uh, our normal at goldstartool.com, the normal way of selling both mach machines are table, leg, motor. Uh, Juki right here has the T leg. We just install a T leg for a customer. The left one has, is a K leg, so that's the difference. They don't want T leg, they want a K leg. K leg, you could adjust the wheels to it and K leg you cannot. K leg is the same way you see it. That's it. Um, customers that bought this wanted to move things around. Both of them have brushless motor with needle positioning system. I'm sure you've seen that. You know what is needle positioning system? This is the one here. This is the one. On this one, you have this hand wheel really large. So a lot of people, when you want to start, you could um, go ahead and wheel it easily with the large wheel. And this one is a normal wheel, like any, uh, am I moving too much around? Mm -hmm. Or I'm good? It's great. Okay, good. This is the regular hand wheel. Uh, on Juki 1560, you have the bobbin winder built in inside the machine right here. Meaning you could turn it on and off as we go. Uh, but on the console, it's one of those old style side uh, bobbin winders. But both of them have the same uh, mechanism, same thing. On this one, built in, this one is like you are step, one step ahead. You don't have to install this when you're starting, mm -hmm. right? Both of them are uh, belt driven. They both have uh, V belt from the K leg, from the brushless motor. Very tiny brushless motor right here. Same thing with control panel, needle position system. We have a bunch of video. Now, your oil, the full oil that comes in the machine, this entire one goes inside here. So they call this semi-dry head. It's no oil pan. If you look on the bottom, uh, it's only a, and I have to take this out to this is the knee lifter, by the way. If you take a look, it's only a, we call it a, the oil drip pan, not a oil pan that you put pump oil. Um, I have done a video on how to install this set before. So, I mean, there are a bunch of videos on our website that showed you how to do the, uh, do the K legs and tables and all, but, um, this one, the tables are both the same size. Gotta be 47 by 20, 22, 21 and a half. Let's see that one. 47 by 21, 21 and a half, 22, same thing. The bed on the machine, on this one is, the whole entire bed is 20 inch from 
needle to the the neck what we call this area from here to here we call the neck is 10 inch so here the bed is also 20 inch and the bed is 10 inch also right both have re uh, reverse this is the reverse and this one is reverse right here okay both of them have needle a stitch length this one has it all the way to nine that one has 10 millimeter it's pretty much the same thing the same exact thing this is a more um newer style of tension guide right here for the thread but that one also has it so it's not a big deal it's really uh not a big deal which type it is both of them are the same thing on the side if you come in you have a you could just open the side right oil if you need to for oiling system for anything that you need to do adjusting the foot um board needle board whatever you would very easy access to the side if you need to spray if you need to oil and this one also see you also have a uh, picture right here if you want to oil right here go ahead uh, i think that one you have to actually open from the top there is a screw right there but right the hinge there is a hinge right here let me see the light yes i could go ahead and open it up for you if you want to see this is the way both of them 135 by 17 needles um both of them come with bunch of needles bunch of uh, bobbins and tools to um to start the machine um maybe one or two bobbin or you know not more than that let me see more um on the gauge gauge is the distance between two needles right so here this is the inside so you could see from here if you go close up so go in if you go in there you'll see that this is much more complicated than the other one it's just yes you go much more complicated right um but so this machine since being two needle it comes with gauge set, meaning that you could buy your own gauge set. The normal gauge set, that's the distance between the needles, right? Or quarter inch. Uh, you could buy anything from three eight, five sixteen, five eight. So like this customer that ordered this machine actually ordered a three eight gauge. And we sell those and our mechanics technicians tomorrow will change this you have to change if you want to change the gauge to any other size the feet has to be changed these are the feet the feet dog the plate and the needle bar mm. this is called gauge set and very very easy to change it i'm not going to do it our guy the person that does the he'll do it um oiling on this machine no no automatic oil uh, system all the style oil here drop 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 of oil that's it that's all you get uh you could put some oil in here right uh, and you could but it's not a major oil you put oil and there's a gauge in here too but it's not as much as you put on the other one it's just uh maybe less than much 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 less than of maybe two to three ounces of oil goes in here mm -hmm. but then you'll see from here how much oil you have there is a gauge set uh both of them have a safety clutch right here this one has a safety clutch if the machine gets stuck if you do too much heavy the machine is going to lock out you press this and you turn this and the machine is going to come out of lock the same thing with the other one right um other than that um uh, i'm going to show you what this does and the machine but let me just go ahead and start sewing we're going to take this to a we said we're going to take him to a so on a regular sewing 
right? Very easy, right? And this is already maybe like seven, eight layers that I'm going of denim jeans. I'm gonna go ahead and see now if I stop, the needle will come out. Mm -hmm. We had set this need system needle down on here. You see P? So, so needle down. Needle down. Now, when you're done, you just press needle up. Uh, when you want to take the, again, when you want to take the thread out, the, you just wiggle this one and you come up. Just like that. I'm using a T105 thread, by the way, polyester. Super heavy duty polyester thread for both of them, right? Now, if you remember, we have done a video on the regular walking food machine, 1541, 1508, or uh, 206 RB with, on this really heavy duty, um, what they call this, nylon webbing. They're really, so we wanna do on this one. Now, a lot of people wanna know how, uh, what's the space between, so it's pretty much one as you see, this is the space between your bed, see that? I don't wanna see one inch, but it's like easy three quarter an inch. And you see how easy this one goes underneath. So we're gonna try to sew this right now with this one. The needle that comes with it should be needle 21 or 22. Uh, 23 needles that come with the machine. So I'm doing this with size 23 needles. I'm gonna just see. It's much easier to crank the machine if you want to. Wow, look at that. Okay, let me lock this now. See, when that's the way it is. If it's too heavy, the way you wanna do it just to, that's what the wheel is for. If it's something really heavy like this one. So we work thread again. Something like this requires really 207 or 138 thread, very heavy, not this type of thread. It will break the thread. But you could see that easily it would show. Now, you're gonna have a hard time going, but as you go, now, this is really heavy stuff. This is really heavy stuff, but as you could see, it will do the job. Now, if it's something lighter, like on this one that we did, it definitely does the job, look at that. So for something like heavy like this, you will do the job. You just need to make sure you have the one, two or seven thread or really heavy nylon thread to work with. The one, the 105 thread that I'm using here is gonna break on this machine. Now, let's take the same thing, the same, same setup, same thing that we did here on the console. Now, remember these machines are not oiled. We haven't done anything. We just make them ready for the customer, okay? So on this one, it's the same setup, same thing, and I'm gonna do pretty much what I did on the other one. Now, on this one, it's not three quarter going up. It's much less. I could feel from here, uh, even maybe less than half, okay? Not that much. But the whole system is the same thing, the same type of feed, the same type of gauge. See, I could, remember that one, we easily went underneath with this one. You see that? Not easy. That's why we do comparison here, because people love to see this. This is 
lots of one, two, three, four, five, ten layers, even maybe twelve, but now remember whenever you want to pull the thread out, it just That's how it shows. If you could do close up, please. It's front and back. Now, we again, we lost one of the threads. On the right hand side, I'm gonna thread that one really quick. Uh, could, it could be because maybe this one fell on the thread. Now, the way you guys set up your machine, you gotta make sure that everything is done nicely the way the, the thread line should be really really um perfect if there is any problem then uh, the thread would break like right now this one the reason the break and uh, the thread broke and my eyes and my glasses are right here so as you see that the thread the main problem for the machine if you're doing really heavy stuff even if it shows really good if you don't have good thread. I mean, we have a very good thread, it's just... Excuse me, you wanna come this way maybe? So I don't want to move your way. Um, the, the thread has to be really strong. So I'm not using strong thread because, um, because I'm not doing a strong thread, there is no reason, I just, T105 usually answers all the um, questions. Now, um, I'm gonna do this, we're gonna try this. I'm sure, it, by the way, this one also, it's a T105 uh, by 17 needle. Um, we're not showing you today how to put the machine together because there is already many many videos on how to put it together and how to adjust the um, motor adjust the speed and needle position system all of those things are already we have many videos on those so i just had these two machines and i thought i'm gonna do a comparison and i think it's a good idea that we do it so people get a The only problem with the industrial sewing machine is that they don't have the self-threading mechanism on it. I mean, <sighs> maybe the real one. I don't know. Uh, by the way, there are all these holes. If you see here, you could always oil them and uh, some of them are for putting on the uh, folder, bias folder and all that stuff. Okay, so um, I'm gonna do start with two on this one because I don't think we could, we could fit that one in there. Cut this off, cut all of this off. Wow. Now, something that really, really helps is uh, silicone oil. See now, if you look at this one, this one we set up to, um, the needle comes up when we are sewing. See? And whenever you don't just, So this is a 
On a two, it did it. I'm gonna start a three. And see, I, I wouldn't, more than three wouldn't even go down there. It, it broke the thread, right? So doing three, it's not, uh, it doesn't even go down there. It doesn't go there. It seems that it's too much for this machine to do three of these. I, but for people are watching this, these are really heavy stuff. These are not normal. Look at this. It's like sewing wood, right? It's, this is not, you saw how fast it really did these things and how easy. Yeah. For people that want to do awning, that people want to do a canvas outside door, dra outside drapery, uh, automotive seat, cushion, um, table, couches. I mean, not table, I'm sorry. I'm talking about the uh, chairs and, and, and um, those type of sewing. These are great, 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 great sewing machines. There's top notch, you know, and no, no, I mean, top. But when you wanna do something heavy like this, you have to be prepared with your, um, heavy duty thread. Uh, we have all different type of feed in stock for this machine. Uh, different gauges again. We have coring feed, uh, anything, a split, uh, center split feed, everything. Uh, great sewing machine, uh, great setup, great company, goldstartool.com. Um, I think Juki, it's more expensive though too, but it's, it comes, it's, and the only advance that I really like is the um, uh, the space between the table with the uh, between the um, base of the machine and the foot, the space under the foot. Mm -hmm. But other than that, both machines will do the same thing. Perfect sewing machine to use. We have them both on our website. Um, let me know if there is anything else you want us to do. Thank you for watching and have a golden day. Thank <laughs> you.